Jake here for American Muscle, and today I'm taking a look at the MBRP Installer Series Resonator Delete X-Pipe for 2015 and newer Mustang GTs. If you want a simple way to get some more volume and exhaust flow out of your Coyote-powered S550 Mustang without spending a ton of money, this X-Pipe from MBRP is worth a serious look. This is a bolt-in setup that's gonna deliver a noticeable increase in volume versus your stock setup for a really good price. With the factory axle back still on, we're gonna give this one a pretty soft three out of five on our loudness meter. With the aftermarket axle back though, in this case one from pipes, it ramps things up to a pretty solid four out of five on the loudness meter. Now your results may vary here a bit depending on what else you're running as part of your exhaust setup and what axle back you have connected to your car. So keep that in mind as you're shopping. But overall, it is gonna be a noticeable increase in volume and also a noticeable increase in fun. If you ask any muscle car fan, they're likely gonna sing the praises of an X-Pipe. These are a really easy way to get more volume out of your car without having to spend a bundle on a full exhaust system. Now this one from MBRP keeps your stock catalytic converters, as do all MBRP's offerings, and just removes that stock resonator in the center of the system. And the net result is a noticeable increase in exhaust volume and overall better performance. Now, we're not throwing this one on the dyno here, but keep in mind that I'm not talking about big horsepower gains. You are gonna feel at least a slight difference versus stock though. But the other big benefit to an X-Pipe is that it won't produce drone despite that higher volume. And that's because X-Pipes by design help even out the exhaust pulses caused by the uneven firing order like that of a traditional cross-plane crank V8, such as the Coyote. So this crossover right here in the center allows those pulses more room to escape, allowing them to cross over from one side to the other. That makes for better exhaust flow, more sound, and also absolutely zero drone. So you get that good volume without any of the detractors. Another benefit to doing the X-Pipe like this is that it's going to allow you to build your exhaust system exactly the way you want it, again, helping keep costs in check, and you get to modify the sound exactly the way you like. So you can run this with a factory exhaust, you can add this to an axle back. You can even do a full cap back setup with this too for a really wild exhaust. The choice is totally yours. Now the piping here is two and a half inch diameter aluminized seal and of course it's mandrel bent so as you can see there's no weird creases or folds for the exhaust gases to contend with. It also is going to provide some decent protection against the elements especially if you live in a drier climate. Now pricing for this comes in at right about $200 making it a really economical choice for an X-Pipe and just a good buy overall if you're looking for something like this. Again, you're not getting the highest quality of material, but it's still an effective part and it's also relatively easy to install. Speaking of which, install is gonna get a two out of three on our difficulty meter, and it should take you about two hours to complete this. I will say that there is some cutting involved here, but it's just two small cuts on one side of the exhaust, and it's definitely something that you can accomplish in your driveway or garage, but of course you can have your preferred shop handle it too. And with that, let's throw it over to one of our AM customers who's gonna walk you through the process. For this install, you will need an impact, extension, 13 and 15 millimeter sockets, a soft mallet, penetrating lubricant, and not shown here is a cutting tool such as a sawzall or cutting wheel, also a friend to help you out. What's up guys, today we're going to be installing an X-Pipe on our Mustang, but before we get started, we're going to send you to watch a short video on how to remove your factory system, and we'll see you when you get back. First up here guys, grab a 15 millimeter deep socket. We're going to loosen up, but not completely remove, the nuts on both of the band clamps here, connecting your factory resonator to your headers. So we're just going to loosen these guys up. All right, next step, we're gonna be at our rear subframe right behind our diff. Now you'll see these hangers connect to the subframe itself using two 13 millimeter bolts. Now we don't have to remove the hangers from the isolators. We're actually just gonna unbolt the whole isolator bracket from the frame. So we're gonna have a 13 millimeter socket and I like to use an extension to go right over the sway bar and we're gonna remove these. Now from there, what I'm gonna do is just lift up on this and swing these guys down. There's a little locking tab here that just hooks in. We just wanna unhook that. So you may have to lift up on the exhaust and then bring it down. All right, next step, before we remove the whole exhaust in one piece, I recommend grabbing WD-40 or something similar with this needle here to just lubricate the hanger above your tips. This is gonna make removing it a whole lot easier. 
All right, do the same thing on the other side. Next step, guys, we're gonna take our exhaust off all in one piece. Now, you may want a helping hand if you're using a lift like we are. If you're working on the ground, it might be a little easier for you to do by yourself. I'd recommend having a mallet to knock these band clamps back a little bit, disconnect it from this side, swing it back toward the front of the vehicle, and set it aside. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Now that we've got our factory system out and on the ground, we're gonna go ahead and mark where we need to cut to go ahead and make room for this X-pipe. So we've got our X-pipe laid on top of our factory resonator here, and we've got our reduced ends lined up exactly where our factory ends go in with our Torca clamps slash band clamps, whatever you wanna call them. And so we're gonna go ahead and line everything up and mark for our cuts. As you can see here, we have our expanded slip joints that are meant to go over our factory exhaust where we're cutting it. Now we've got it lined up to follow our factory exhaust lines coming out. And what we're gonna do is mark basically at the base of the expansion for our joint as close to it as possible so we have as much room as we need for any possible adjustments or trimming that we may need to do. So we'll go ahead, take our Sharpie, and we'll just line out right in line with the end of our expansion here. Go ahead and make that mark. Then we're gonna do the same thing for the other one. Go right in there. And once we have our initial mark, go ahead and take our X-pipe off. Then we're gonna make a larger mark just so we can follow for cutting. And you kind of want to just keep it 90 with the edge of your tubing here. Now that we have that marked, we're going to go ahead and make our cuts. Now we already have a pre-cut system that we'll be using for this install, but at this point, after you've made your marks, you wanna go ahead and use either a sawzall or a cutoff wheel, something like that, to cut your pipes. And then you wanna clean up and debur your edges just to make sure there's nothing sharp or protruding inside or outside of your exhaust. And then once you have that done, we'll go ahead and get our system back installed. So once you have your exhaust cut, we're gonna go ahead and line this back up as if it were going back together with the stock resonator. So we're gonna get everything assembled here and then go ahead and put it back together just like it came out in one piece. So we've got our X-pipe, we're gonna grab our provided clamps, slide those over our slip joints here. Just so we don't forget them, they're already there, they're out of the way. Then we're going to go ahead and insert our tubes here, lock those in place. And you want to get these, we are going to leave our clamps loose for now, we're not going to tighten them just in case we need to make any tweaks once we get it up there. So we are gonna be reusing our factory band clamps, so we'll get those installed onto our X-pipe now. And then once we get it up in the air, we're gonna have a friend help us out and go ahead and get it back in place. So once we have everything in position, we're gonna go ahead and get our clamps in place, and we're just gonna snug them down for now enough to hold our muffler sections in position enough to get it back in the air. So we'll grab our 15 mil socket on our impact and go ahead and snug these down. Now we've got our buddy helping us and we're gonna get this up into position. We'll go ahead and move it forward. Oh no, you gotta go down first. That's not it. <laughs> so we'll drop our front down, get our mufflers into our rear hangers here.
and we'll slide it back. And we'll get our band clamps lined up. So now that we've got our mid pipe in position and our rear hangers are on, we're gonna go ahead and get our subframe isolators back into place. So we'll go ahead and hook these back in, just like so. So now we'll go ahead and get our 13 millimeter bolts back into place. Don't forget your washers along with your bolts. Now we'll go ahead and grab our 13 mil socket extension and go ahead and tighten down our isolator bolts here. So now that we've got everything in the rear secure, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down our band clamps. So we'll grab our 15 mil socket on our impact and get these tightened down. Now we can go ahead and fully tighten down our clamps here at the other end of our X-pipe. So again, we'll use our 15 mil socket on our impact to go ahead and tighten these down. Alrighty guys, that about wraps up our review and install of our MBRP Installer Series Resonator Delete X-pipe for your 15 to 22 Mustang GT. Thanks for watching and as always, for everything Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.